Welcome to Life Coach U, your personal life coach certification school and your place to become wealthy coaching others. In this powerful podcast, you'll learn the skills, the mindset, and the marketing secrets of top coaches and consultants. Brought to you by Master Coach and Trainer, Wayne Sutton from LifeCoachLifestyle.com. Be sure to subscribe and enjoy the show. Hey guys, Wayne Sutton here. Welcome to another episode of Life Coach You. Today we're talking about your conscious awareness. Conscious awareness because conscious awareness is the key to a very successful lifestyle creation. Now you know our website, Life Coach Lifestyle. I talk about this a lot. If you're going to create your life, you're going to create your life. Because I believe we've been given a blank canvas. You may have different talents and different strengths, but you have a blank canvas virtually every day to repaint, to redesign your life and and the life of your clients. I want you to grab a hold of this. But conscious awareness is so important. You can choose who you want to be, how much value that you bring to the world. And as a coach, we always interact with clients to increase their level of self-esteem. People need to see who they are and know where they're going. Okay, are we here? Are, we, are you with me? All right, so... I'm going to jump in today in this podcast, go a little quick. Let me say first, if you haven't picked up our book, go now, lifecoachlifestyle.com. Pick up the book. If you are not a coach earning $10,000 a month, then pick up our blueprint. I want to make sure we have our blueprint. Go to prosperwoodwayne.com or go fulltimecoaching.com. Now, self-awareness is being conscious of everything that goes on inside of you. Your sensations, your feelings, your thoughts, your perceptions, your memories, your images, experience, everything. What is happening in your world? Self-awareness is being consciously aware of the unconscious and conscious actions. So it allows us, hear, hear this, to remember the past, anticipate a future, and be conscious of the present. Did you write that down? This is where you take notes. Okay, self-awareness allows you to remember the past, anticipate a future, and be conscious of the present. 10% of the quality of life, listen, this is very important, approximately 10% of the quality of your life is based on what happens to you, but 90% on how you respond to what happens. Listen, life happens, things happen. I had one contract that I was been we've been working with for two years, and the company all of a sudden decided, hey, we're no longer going to offer this. We're going to now offer approximately half, maybe even less than half, if you still want to provide this service. So what's my answer to them? No. Because why? I know my value. Do you understand this? I know my value. But also, instead of getting angry or getting upset, then I recognize this company that doesn't want the consultant anymore, or this this advice, this this assistance. That that's okay. That's their choice. Does that makes sense. So what do I do? I have to say, listen, life is for me. It's not what happened to me. It's how I respond. Life is for me. So what do we do? We go and we create other revenue sources, and we find somewhere else to um, advise. Makes sense. See, the significance of events are determined. By the meaning you assign to them. By the meaning that you assign to them. That doesn't mean that you just go through life smiling as nothing happens. Things happen. Things are bad. But be aware of it. Be aware of it. And it goes back to having the self-esteem. Knowing who you are. Think about this. You live with yourself more than anybody else. You live closer with yourself more than anybody else. Wouldn't it be great? Ponder this thought. Wouldn't it be great to have your best friend always inside of you no matter where you go? Your best friend. Um, that's you. So you got to nourish that friendship. I've never found a relationship that didn't need nourishing, didn't need time spent with. That includes your own self. Okay, I want you to grab a hold of this. It includes you. So how do we do this? Number one, we need to pay attention to your senses. Pay attention. We want to expand your self-awareness. Pay attention to the things that you see, hear, touch. The intuition. Truly pay attention to your senses. Now, I was in martial arts. <laughs> Maybe we'd watched one too many uh, ninjutsu movies from the 80s, but we would put uh, blindfolds on us. and uh, We'll say 80s and 90s. I'm dating myself a little bit. We'd put blindfolds on us. And now we never got to like they did in the movies, which was 
complete nonsense where we could fight with a blindfold. But with a blindfold and doing some of the hand motions or blindfold and, and doing what then in Wing Chun they called trapping exercise, you could feel the energy. You could you could hear when somebody was sneaking up from behind you. It was it was becoming aware of the other senses when one senses one sense had been removed. So now don't have your clients running around with blindfolds. However, have them pay attention. Have them pay attention. Challenge your clients to become aware. Challenge them to become aware of how and in what combination these senses come together to create what they experience. Does this make sense? And increasing that self-esteem is increasing that self-love. They must see their self as valuable. And if they see their self as valuable, treat themselves accordingly. If they see their self as valuable, treat themselves accordingly. Someone the other day said, Wayne, how much do you spend? So I had this concoction. It was actually um, a number of different products from uh, vitamins and minerals and so forth in this, in this um, beverage that I was consuming. And they said, wow, you got like three different products in there. And I'm like, yeah, the digestive enzymes do this. And then the arginine supplement is good for your circulatory system. And then I have this for, and I had all of this. And they said, what does that cost? What's this one little, and I'm like, well, it's probably about six bucks just to drink this. And they're like, oh my gosh, it's so expensive. No, I'm worth it. My body's worth it. My health is worth it. Does this make sense? So let them know when they take care of themselves. It's a way of showing self-love. It's a way of showing self-love. Also, convert. Listen to it. Have them talk. First of all, convert their language. Are they talking in insults and self-criticism? Notice it. Have them practice positive and affirming self-talk. Convert all of their shoulds into coulds. I should do this. Well, maybe you shouldn't do it. See, Tony Robbins says every take your shoulds and make them a must. But some things shouldn't be a must. Some things could be a could. I should go do this. Well, you know, I could go do this. But challenge your clients and challenge yourself to only do activities that will reinforce positive self-concept and strengthen their own self. Physical exercise, great. It helps physically, gets the body moving. But also physical exercise is one way of telling yourself I'm worth it. I'm worth the energy. And learn from my past. Learn from my mistakes without self-punishment. If we can forgive others, we can forgive ourselves. Make sense? If we can forgive others, we can forgive ourselves. We need to do this. So, who are you? Here's some questions for yourself and your client. Please write this down. Who are you? How do you think? How do you create? How do you control your actions? How do you feel? What makes you different than others? How are you the same? How would you function differently as you begin to see yourself as a spiritual being in a physical body? Are you living up to your potential? And how, with with this coaching program, will you be different one year from now? Guys, it's all about how we see ourselves and how we walk into that. Here's what I want you to do. I want you to grab a hold of this information. It's going to be extremely important. Grab a hold of this information. Go back to this podcast. Take notes. Jump on board. Jump on board our webinar. Let me show you how to go to 10000 a month as a live coach, as a consultant. Give you the blueprint, the certification, and the marketing method to do it. What do you do? Jump over to GoFullTimeCoaching.com. GoFullTimeCoaching.com or ProsperWoodWayne.com. And... You want to talk to me? Give me a call. I'll pick up my phone. We're real people. 910-233-2511. 910-233-2511. My name's Wayne Sutton. God bless. Thank you for joining us. Subscribe to our show and be sure to pick up your free book, Life Coach You, How to Become a Certified Life Coach and Get Wealth Helping Others at lifecoachlifestyle.com.